yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Burgers Kicks here again today. And, you know, this video, since there's no fucking drops going on, we're doing a bot tutorial. And this video, as you can see, is about NSB, or Nike Shoe Bot, as some may call it. Personally, I have used this bot before. Haven't used it as much recently since my key expired and I just recently bought it again. Um... But back when I did use it, I did very well with it, and it's actually doing a lot better than it was before. So, you know, it means it's going to be copping a lot more. So, yeah. Um, you know, we'll get right into this here. As you can see, you know, we're on, like, the basic task screen. Um, so, if you're going to set up a task, you know, you'd click right up here. It says Create Task, and you get a drop-down. Well, not drop-down. I guess it gets a little pop-up. But you can select sites and all this stuff. They have a bunch of pre-sites they have custom shopify and then they also have a thing called all and then all notify only which i'll get into in a second you have your modes right here safe mode fast mode cyborg 3.0 and checkout link cyborg 3.0 is the mode that you use on bot protection like kith and dsm while you can use safe mode on like other sites like shop nice kicks and like dtlr or you can use fast mode on those sites depending on what drop it is then you, you know have you, you have your spot to insert a link a variant size um, size is for NSB you can do RA which is random you can do FA which is first available and I'm pretty sure you can do LA which is last available I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one but like I said I usually just run random but you I'm pretty sure you can do those three variations I would you know test it first just to make sure, or even, you know, ask in the Discord. Like I said, I usually just run random, so I don't usually worry about stuff like that. But then for sizes, if you want to do, like, a size range, like, let's say 8 through 11, you can do 8, comma, 8 point, whoops, 8.5, comma, 9, comma, 9.5, comma, and then, like, etc. you know, 10, 10.5, 11. And that would search for any size through 8 through 11. Um, and then you obviously number of tasks. You can you know, select your billing right here. And then proxies. And then you can do advanced right here. Advanced settings. You can set like what your delays you want for each site. You can do use shared monitor. Check out with local IP. You can schedule the task. Require login. Force the captures. Most of the time you're going to have captures on the sites that you're botting. Um... The, the cool feature about NSB is they have a thing called blue tasks. Um, these tasks basically monitor on their own. Like it, it must be on something like server side with NSB. They monitor and you can run them 24-7 as long as the bot's open. And they don't use data. They don't use any of your proxies. They just monitor. And then when it like your keywords hit or your link hits, like gets picked up like something restocks or drops, the task will auto start. Um, so we're going to get into this. They have an all, and then they have an all notify only. Notify only is, it's hooked up to their um, their monitors in their Discord, and they have it so, like, it'll ping at everyone when, like, something drops. So let's say you're running for Travis Scott's. You, if you want to just do the all notifies, you're going to get notified when, like, the keywords Travis Scott pick up, but it might not always be shoes. It could be merch. It could be other stuff. So if you're just plain running, like, Travis Scott as your keywords, and it'll pick up everything in there that gets notified that comes through that monitor. Or you can do all, which is auto-create and start all from all monitors. And this is, obviously, they say it's more risky because it picks up everything. So, like, if a site was to drop, a Shopify site drops a, a pair of sandals, and they name them Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Like, if that's what you were running as keywords, it would pick it up. Um, like, these these are really cool to use, and they're very helpful on restock. But you just have to be very, very, very careful bleh, 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 careful with your uh, keywords. Like, you have to be super specific, super detailed, and, yeah, if you're, if you're going to take the risk to run blue tasks, put the time in to make sure that your keywords are correct and that you're not going to pick up anything random that drops. Like I've seen people run like Jordan one game Royal, but they forget like minus they do, they forget a minus keyword and they pick up some random shoe. That's a brick and they end up checking out 
like it's just like for like example you do Jordan no space no common I mean no no comma just a space so it'd be Jordan one game royal and then to do negative keywords you just put the minus and then we're gonna say minus sandal minus shirt minus kids minus grade school minus gs like you would do stuff like that like i said if you're if you're running blue tasks your best bet is to um to have really good keywords um i'm not sure if you can run links in this you might be able to probably not though um well you can run links on like uh, specific sites when you're using like the shared monitor but yeah the all auto create is a lot like it's very risky so if you're going to use it you know put the time into you know i guess get into it and as you saw what i showed before was here let me just go to like kith as you can see here you know you have link variant yada 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 there's this advanced button right here you have a thing called use shared monitor nsb has a built-in monitor like i said before where like it will actually ping things to like the discord and like on your screen which is like that's what this little button is right here like for example you pull this up it pulls up your you know shopify monitors you can have it set for uh, specific groups as well um and it'll pull everything off of this and if you use use uh, shared monitor when you're running like a task, um, if you use this, it'll it'll essentially run a blue task, but for that specific site. That's essentially what it does. So instead of like monitoring everything, it's only monitoring Kith. So I guess you know you don't have to worry about it picking up some random Shopify site. But I mean, sites do still like fuck with their keywords and stuff like that. Like obviously Kith is notorious for that. So I'd still be like weary of that and be cautious when doing so. Um, so, and then up here you, know, you got all your tabs. You can get into proxies right here. You know, we got leave proxies, notify proxies here, add proxy list right here. This is also where uh, NSB's cookie jar is. This is where you have your cookies for when like for foot sites you need supply and stuff like that. Um, they'll all be here. You can also manually gen them and not with NSB, but you can mainly gen them with other stuff and import them into here. I'm going to show you how to set up a task for that. Like, for example, if you're going on Yeezy Supply. So you go to Yeezy Supply. You go here with a drop down. You click Generator, Size, Random, Tasks, 1, PID. You literally can just make it up. Usually that's what I do. I run a test profile. You know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Remember to use code Burgers Kicks for discounts, boys. Remember that. So you can just do that. What I always do is I usually set it to like 75,000 so I don't get banned. And then you tick off release. Click submit. And then you would start it and it would just say like generating cookies. And you just leave it. And like eventually once you start getting cookies, they'll show up right down here. I'll show one for foot sites as well. Foot locker, you know, do the same thing again. You go to generator, random, number of tasks, one, billing profiles, advanced again. I set my foot sites high just because I don't want to get banned. You probably don't need 75,000. But then you just see how they both saying generating cookies. And would see. We already have a cookie for you to supply. If you just let those run, you'll get them. And yeah, just ensure that you're not getting banned. So that's how you generate cookies for sites like that. Obviously, I already went over the proxies. Billings here where you can, you know, add billings, add a new group. Obviously, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, boys. Remember to use code BurgersKicks for discounts, you know, with our sponsors. Helps you guys out, you know, get some discounts on some pretty, pretty fire stuff. So, and then we're going to get into the capture solver here. Capture solver is, you know, just a basic capture solver. 
they have original and vanilla mode. You can put proxy in here. I don't usually run proxies in them because the one Gmail I use, I don't farm with proxies. But to get it going, you just hit the play button and you can log in. It brings you to screen. You can log in. I'm not going to show you because it has my Gmails on it. And then um, to, to activate it, you can... Um, nope, nope, that's not it. Open solver right there in the settings. And it'll open up your solver. Like I said, you can change it original, vanilla, all that. And then monitors. Here's the monitors like I was talking about earlier, how they have built in. As you can see, we're on Notifies 3.0. They're Shopify filtered. And now we're on Chef's Table Shopify monitor. Um, you can have both of them open. So if you like want to monitor like kit on one of them and regular all shop fine the other you can do that and you can put in here like your sizes your billing profile your proxy lists methods of like safe fast all that force capture logs in I would always have these filled out just so that way you know if you're sitting here and you need to click something quick you don't screw yourself over um, that's a very nice feature of this bot Obviously, you can go to like profile section that will show like how long is left in your keys. Um, like I said, I'm not going to show you that as well because that's where personal info is for my bot. And then they also have a copped tab. Mine has nothing here because I deleted mine all. Like I just cleared it all out. Um, but yeah, this is where like when you when you successfully check out an item, it will come into this screen so you can see you know what you checked out what mode you use and stuff like that so it's a pretty cool feature you can also take like a little screenshot up here which is pretty sick because you know who doesn't want to export and flex their cops because that's what we do in this co fucking community boys we flex we all flex that's what we do but yeah that is basically it like I said I'm not getting like too too in depth it's I mean SB is not like a hard bot um, basically the only things you really want to like grind out if you're going to use them, which I mean, I would recommend to use would be their blue tasks and like their whole monitoring and stuff like that, because it's super like beneficial if something shock drops or if like a random site drops, you're going to be able to catch it before everyone else who's going to like try and quick task. You just have to be super, super careful with your keywords, like test them out multiple times look in the discords because some people you can see like what they'll check out of things that like were wrong keywords and you can go off of that and just add extra things onto it um but yeah be super super specific don't just put like yeezy or jordan one because you're gonna get fucked over like don't do stuff like that like you gotta be super like precise and right to the point no like random or like generic keywords you got to be super specific but um yeah that's basically it i mean nsp is not like a hard bot to use but um like once you get the hang of nsp you'll easily be able to hit especially like on foot side cheese supply it's been doing pretty well on supreme and it's actually also been doing very well on shopify you know, for a bot that's in stock, I guess people would say that sometimes they think just because it's in stock, it's not going to be as good. But um, NSB has actually been performing very well on Shopify compared to, like, some of the top tier bots. So, um, yeah. They also um, have this, like, a little manual captcha. It will tell you, like, oh, manual captcha required, and you just click that. It's only if, like, you don't have your solvers open. Obviously, you know, start all, stop all, edit all, delete all. But, um, yeah. That is basically it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, you can drop them down in the comments. I hope this helps you guys. I know it's not like a huge in-depth guide, but I mean, if that's what you guys want to see later on, I could always make another video about it. So, um, yeah, I love you guys. You know, I'd like to take a moment out of this video, though, to shout out the fam, the sponsors of this video. You know, without these people, I'm nothing. I like to thank Notify, Table of Chefs, Oculus Servers. You know, you can use code Burgers Kicks to save that 10% off your order. Because, you know, why not use a server? Because speeds 
are everything and you know speeds are amazing so yeah you can use that and then we also got notify proxies you can use code burgers kicks for 25 percent off your order on anything on the site including dc resi stuff like that and then lastly but especially not the least you know we got leaf proxies shout out the fam you know been there since the beginning um you can use code burgers kicks to save 20 percent off your order on their site as well um yeah without these sponsors like i'd be nowhere you guys would not get discounts so you know it's a plus plus for both of us we're both winning we're both eating you know how it goes but um yeah it's your boy burger you know we're gonna be you know signing off here um i hope this helps you guys and yeah talk to you in another video it's your boy burger and yo we're signing off peace boys